Hey YouTube, welcome to a review of another electronic item that I received in the mail that I received today called the PSP camera. It's mounted on my PSP right now. My PSP is recording a video right now that I need to turn off. I just got to be reviewing something. This is what my image of my camera looks like on my Apple iPad Touch. Here's a camera review and a camera. Hey camera. Hi camera. Hi camera. You can see the lens is bigger on the other mini unit. Let me stop the tape on the other unit so that way it doesn't waste memory card anymore. But as you can see, it does work and uh, it's not the best quality camera you can ever buy, but it works for the purpose. Let me turn off my PSP and show you what the camera looks like off the PSP. Come on, turn off. Doesn't like to turn off very easily. I'll show you how that game works. Let's see. Here's the camera right here. It comes off very easily. Look how like tiny that thing is. Look at tiny. Made by Sony. Look how big that lens is. The lens is a little tiny. It's tiny, but it's got a got a feature called micro feature micro feature which you see in the video it's got a microphone right there on the side PSB is a PSB camera it's a color camera hooks up with mini USB but it's not mini USB it's a special USB that has to have these pins for the power for the camera this is the screw you have to use to secure it. You secure it on top of your PSP in this port right there. You have a, a mini USB port and you have two screws. But this only goes in one way. You insert it that way, and you screw it in the thumb screw. You know, I got the big down like screw my unit. Hang on, oh, patience. Alright, here we go. Sorry about that. Let's give you some gameplay video. So you can see what it's like. PC's got to boot up. There it goes. It might even start the game. Oh, so cool, it's gonna start the game. Beautiful. Let's see if I can do this one handed, I don't know. Let me show you how this works. The video game called Invisimals 2 Shadow Zone. It comes with a camera as you saw, and you can play it on this unit called PlayStation. It works on this type of unit, so you guys have a you guys have a one thousand PlayStation unit. It does work as long as you upgrade your firmware. But the but this game that you buy here comes with the upgrade for your firmware. So all you do is upgrade from the game. Or you grant the Chismo game and you're all set. It works like this. This is the trap, they call it. 
the little card, a special card that the camera can actually see. See, it's black and white. Doesn't matter which side. You place it on your surface, like so. First, you select your language. By pressing the X. I don't know if I can do this one handed or not, but I'll try. It's by Sony Entertainment. Hope it's not copyright. It's a Japanese game, and it tells you everything you need to know about where the cards need to be saved. Let's continue our game. And we'll continue our file. I'm going to load it. And then now, we're going to get the game. We're you go enter it, and now we're gonna select our fighter. We only got one now, so we select him. Found some early. I need this hand three. See? See how that works? I may not be able to play this on front of you because I can't do it one handed. Oh, here you are. Uh, let me tell you the basics of combat. He's going to tell you the Ready? basics. This is your creature. This is mine. Oh, you got, you got the eye. See, look, there's nothing there. But on the camera, there is. Your life and stamina readouts are always on the top left corner. See? And mine are on the right. The top bar Demonstrate really, really isn't reality. So that's neat. That's kind of like how the 3DS works. Except this probably works a little bit better than the 3DS. You gotta make sure it's off micro mode before you play it on this. And you gotta make sure the camera is aimed directly at that square, otherwise it won't work. He's telling you how to, do, how to attack and how to... what to do. So that was a review of Ingemil Shadow Zone 2 and the PC camera by Sony. Available at your local game shop for $40. It's worth it. So that's a review.